What are you looking for? Nothing. I am making a lot of noise because I'm angry. Gloria, I'm gonna help you with a baby. I am not young like with money. I am tired already, and it's gonna get harder from here. I can't do this on my own, and you did this to me. It so was a surprise. Trying... It was funny for me because I never thought that Jay and Gloria were the ones that were gonna have a baby when we started, like, listening to rumors that there was gonna be a baby. Oh, my God. What is she doing here? You're going to have a baby? I don't believe Believe it. Uh, Dee Dee, don't get all crazy about this. <laughs> What's happening? Her brain, it's snapped. I don't think the family uh, changed. There's, uh, you know, a lot of more uh, things going on, more drama. It's m more of the same, everybody getting involved in everybody's problems and uh, giving their opinion. Oh, you're going to be a father again at your age. And here you were thinking you would just sail off into the sunset with your beautiful young wife. Not a care in the world. This is fantastic. I think my uterus just fixed itself. Don't ask. It was a lot of fun to play a pregnant Gloria because she still had to, um, you know, she still wanted to feel sexy. You're kind of hard on that cinnamon bun guy. Did you hear what he said to me? Congratulations. He thinks I'm pregnant. That is an insult when the person doesn't look it. She's still was wearing like the same outfits and trying to uh, like to be a little bit like in denial that she had to change, you know, the way she looked and her life. Mom, wait. You need to hear this. You are pregnant and you look it. <gasps> I hope that this new one has some good manners. Mom, stop! I think the relationship hasn't changed, but it has made Gloria feel uh, all the time a little concerned, and she wants to be all the time conscious to make uh, Manny still feel wanted and loved and special, because I think for her, it's important that, that he always feels like that. What are you doing all day? Jay! It's fine, Mom. No, it's not fine. Today is Manny's birthday. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, kid. Don't worry. Ruben's family is taking me for a birthday lunch. You see, even the Rubens remembered. We'll be back at six, and we're taking you to a special birthday dinner, okay? I think that they are, they, they forgot my birthday. And so I'm like, kind of like, okay, that's why would they forget my birthday? It was a setup. We're throwing him a big surprise birthday party. And he totally fell for it, the little jerk. Okay, Manny is going to be here soon, so let's go over the plan. When we hear him coming, we turn off the light. She's, you know, giving everybody of the lowdown of what's going to happen, and then I happen to come in. Quick, I don't want the neighbors to see us. You sure we're alone? Yeah, we're not home till six. Good, because I wanted to give you a birthday present. Actually, I'd like to see your face. <laughs> When she screams, I think she's talking about the light fixture that's too bright. But she's really screaming about the people behind me. And when I turn around, I find out that all of my family and about a dozen of my friends uh, saw me have my first kiss, and I'm so embarrassed. Money, we're so sorry we didn't mention. What? To... Ruin the greatest moment of my life? So then I run out, and and then when I'm in the room, Money, please come out. She's trying to calm me down of what just happened and she starts getting contractions. I know. The baby was ready, but I was not. It was bad enough that Manny had to share his mother. I couldn't let him share a birthday, too. Because that's, you know, that's the worst thing, because I'm such a mama's boy. Oh, my gosh! It's happening! Oh, I'm Manny. I am so sorry about today. I just wanted you to have a happy birthday. Speaking of birthday. Don't listen to him. I'm not letting this baby out before midnight. Me and Gloria have this really nice, touchy moment of where I tell her it's okay to have the baby. You're trying to hold another person inside of you to spare my feelings. Message received. Mm. Oh, that's a strong grip. That's it. That's oh. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. <laughs> At the moment, it's not named. The baby's not named. It's it's a boy. So hopefully, they'll come to me and ask me, hey, you know, what do you think that uh, we should name the baby? I think Manny will make a good brother. I think he'll work out some kinks, you know, 
trying to, he probably trying to give the baby coffee and teach him poems at a young age. And I think he has to learn how to be, you know, get more mature than what he is, especially when taking care of another one. From real life experiences, I really don't have any because I'm the youngest in my family. But I think of what I learned from my older brothers is, you know, always give good advice. Um, you know, set good examples because, you know, as they say, the awesome phrase, monkey see, monkey do. And that really goes for, you know, if you see your older brother doing it, you must think it's right because he's doing it. You know, being a woman and a mother, I think, of course, naturally, it, um, it, it helps you make it more real. Like, I guess the way you hold a baby, the way you talk to, to them. Uh, it, it becomes more real once you have been a real mother. The two babies are very well behaved. Uh, it's been a great experience. I thought at the beginning it was going to be a little difficult because they cry, they get anxious. We have only a small window to shoot with them, but it's been perfect. The, the, I think production has done a, a great job, uh, you know, handling them. So wait, he, he's my uncle? No, he's your half-brother-in-law. He's our uncle. Half uncle or full uncle? What's a full uncle? Okay, so it all feel like you got to stick around. Okay, okay. we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Then. We'll be back tomorrow. Congrats.